Welcome back to another exciting video regarding what Crocs today we are going to do. We are going to do something crazy. It is July 6th and we're going to plant sweet corn? What? Do we have enough days? So the well, last I checked was our well, first frost date is August 18th and I believe that gives us over 100 days. So we found some varieties that we can grow in 75 to 80 days. So I think we're still gonna be some, we're gonna be good. So the days to harvest on some of these, like this uh, sweet corn bilicious hybrid. Yes, it's from Burpees, but hey, it says 78, 75 to 80 days. Another Burpees triple crown bicolor hybrid sweet corn, 75 days. And this is the ornamental corn. Ornamental corn, show them. Yeah. This one we might have a little bit of a problem with, but I think this guy is gonna be just for show. And this guy's got 110 days. So we're gambling with this. But I think we got a sure proof way of getting this stuff done. What do you think? You think we, get, you think we got a little secret maybe that might help out? I think so too. Let's get started. Dad, how are we gonna get this to grow so quick? Well, son, I'll tell you guys. I think what we're gonna try to do is we got these paper towels here. They are wet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lace the corn out on these paper towels so they constantly, constantly stay wet. So we increase our chance of germination. We'll put them in these labeled bags. And I think that'll help us out. We'll let these bags breathe, but it'll create a little bit of a humidity dome in there, keep the corn nice and uh, moist. And then once we can see it, once we start, once it starts to germinate. What does germinate we'll, mean? We'll go put it in the garden. What well, does germinate, germinate mean? means when the seed starts becoming a plant, oh. like when it starts to sprout. Wait, so like, pretend like I had a seed plant, but it was like, like a barely half open, like with a plant coming out. Yeah. Th like that that's that? what that we'll we'll be able to watch them and monitor them. Oh. All right, let's get started. What do you think we should start with? Let's start with the ornamental corn. I think so too because it needs to take the longest to get going. Yeah. All right. Okay, kid croc. What? We're gonna put it on this one. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna form a couple rows. Let's do one row first, and then we'll let you do the other, and then we'll do the other ones. All right. Here you go. And Dad, show them the seeds. Oh man, show them. So like, they have like reds on the top as you guys can see. And then the, it's like, like that. Yeah, just like show them your that. hand. And like, there's like some normal corn and like colorful corn. Yeah, isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, that's what I just noticed. Okay, let's pick a line going all the way across here. Right yep. here? Yep, right down towards the top or the bottom. Okay, now that we got them all folded up, let's put them in our pre-labeled bags. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna periodically check on these and see how they've sprouted. By putting them in the bag, we're not gonna close the bag up all the way, like so but we, we, will, we, it, will, we will leave it a little bit open. Like so we can give it oxygen. Yes. Um, to breathe. Like everything it, needs it, to breathe. Because if we closed it, it would die, like, if we were in there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Kind of like your feet. They need to breathe sometimes. <laughs> no. Okay, guys. There we go. We got our three bags. Mm -hmm. We are going to put these guys in a nice, warm, dark place, probably. Where are we going to put it? Um, I'm not uh, sure. We'll basement? figure it. We'll probably figure it out. Maybe in the basement. And then we will check on them in a little while. We are out in the garden um, and our little experiment, you think it worked? Remember how we put these in the in the bags? Yeah, remember how we put them in the bags? These are the glass gem ones. These are the ornamental ones. Let's see that here. That I did. Let's see here. Let's that open I them up. Yeah, these are the ones that Kid Croc did. So you can see they are starting to sprout a little bit. 
which is what we wanted. So that way they uh, accelerate the growth a little bit. So what we're gonna do today is we are gonna plant some potatoes. But I thought we were only planting corn. No, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna plant potatoes, row potatoes, row corn, row potatoes, row corn, row potatoes, row corn. I read that this worked out real well for some people. Um, and we'll see how it works. So, my lovely brother gave me a couple of russet potatoes that have spikes on them. We got all of these guys that I found in the basement that I uh, totally forgot about. Um, I don't know if they'll grow anything. We're gonna try, we're just gonna layer them in there. All right, now that we got the potatoes planted, let's start over. All right, now that we got the potatoes planted, let's check out on this corn. So you guys can see the corn has little sprouts on it. You see those little sprouts? Good crock, you see those little sprouts? Yeah. Let's show the camera that little sprout. Not real close. Yep. All right, let's make some rows and we'll plant some, okay? All right, guys, we got interrupted by some rain there, um, but I think we should be good to go. Here in a few days, we'll start seeing the corn sprout out of the ground, and I think we'll be in really good shape. If you guys like what I am doing here, you guys want to continue to follow up on this, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Give us one of those good old thumbs up, or if you don't like, give us a thumbs down. I don't care. Interact with us. See you guys. Have a blessed day.